What's up everyone, filming here from our apartment in Harvey Bay. Look at that, beautiful view out there. Um, stayed here for a couple of days already, uh, but today we're gonna do a massive thrift day. So, go around to some op shops here in Harvey Bay and the local areas around here, and hopefully we can find some good stuff we can um, bring back home and put on eBay for a bit of a profit. So stick around to the end to see everything that we get. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so jumping into the first op shop here. I'm not gonna talk through this whole video. Um, I'll just go through uh, a few of the highlights here. And so anyway, and I'll let you guys enjoy. I'll put the comps up on the screen so you can see what we will be able to sell them for. All right, we'll enjoy. A lot of these op shops here uh, up at Harvey Bay Way are very expensive. Uh, big shops, but I'm assuming they can make a fair bit of money to cover the rent for that. Um, but yeah, did end up finding a couple good pieces in this one. So there you would have seen just the basic polo uh, and this toucan, I think it is. I uh, did actually end up leaving these two behind. As I was getting a bit picky with my items uh, but did end up finding this Nike jacket um, had a really cool embroidery on the back there had like that really vintage vibes and for the eight dollars definitely a good pickup
like I was saying about the prices, $25 and $45 for an RM Williams shirt is definitely pretty expensive. Um, but they seem to do these a little bit cheaper. Uh, definitely the $10 and the $15 for these backgammon sets are uh, steal for us as we do flip them on Marketplace for around $55 to $60. So this Nixon jacket here was pretty cool, um, but I couldn't see many comps on it and for $20 I didn't really want to risk it just in case, uh, so I did leave that one behind. Same with this uh, this vintage Target one, it looked really cool, but again I couldn't find any good comps on it so I did leave that one behind as well. It was quite funny as me and Amanda were just talking about finding Manlo in the racks um, and then she actually found three of these shirts. Don't think they are vintage worthy but that first one there uh, did have some vintage vibes which is pretty cool with the uh, the trees and the TV the surfing in the background that one there. So we actually saw two items as we were paying for uh, that David Smith shirt and the uh, Queens and Maroon shirt there. Uh, this Xbox One console was behind. Uh, I was able to test it as well, worked all right, and only spent $20 on that. And just bought another Nixon hat that you'll see at the end. So this op shop had two warehouses or sheds full of stuff. Uh, I went on the other side and Amanda went on one side. Uh, found these VHS players. Uh, this Sony one here was very good comps. Uh, however, I did uh, put a VHS tape in there and it didn't work. So, well, it actually didn't come back out. So uh, I just left it there for $20 as we do have limited room in the car. So I did want to be a bit picky. So this actually sparked up a question on my Instagram account as I would never have gone into the women's section to look for clothes and uh, Amanda's come up with two really good uh, jackets here, one of them being this Colombian jacket, uh, had really vintage vibes and the colour there as well uh, and same with this Adidas jacket, I don't think it was that old but it did have like the green and gold and it just looked really cool.
So the last item we picked up for the day was this 1988 DC figure Batman, uh, which is definitely one of the cool items I picked up today for around $40, $50 on make on that. So that rounded the day off really well. Alrighty, so just got back from the day of thrifting in Harvey Bay. So we do have a fair bit of stuff here. I've laid it out, so let's get into it. We'll start with the clothes here. Uh, just a woman's uh, size 14. Oh, my phone just doesn't want to focus, does it? Uh, size 14, uh, Queensland, state of origin jersey. Just plain, nothing on the back, but still should be able to flip that. Let's got that for four bucks, should be able to get 30 bucks from that. Uh, this men's uh, Quicksilver, uh, size large. It's, it's kind of like a, um, it's got that corduroy kind of vibes, but not so much. Uh, sort of like a light jumper. Um, pick this one up as well, just for the five. Uh, this Gorman sort of kind of work jacket. Uh, I don't really know too much about that. Amanda kind of picks up the women's stuff. I'm not too familiar with that stuff there. I uh, did pick up this Nike uh, jacket here, just for the $8 as well. Um, but it does have like that really kind of Nike on the back there. Kind of that vintage kind of vibe as well. I'm not too sure if it is an older style. But it is a size XL. Um, it should get around 50, 60 bucks for that one. Uh, also, Amanda picked up this Adidas one. And we'll get to this Columbia one in a second. But she's picked up two of these. It does also have like that kind of vintage vibe as well going on um but it is just like another jacket just like the nike one there uh it is plain on the back as well but it's like that green and gold so it looks like it like that kind of australian kind of look uh she did pick up these older deodora um parachute pants um which is funny because it'll go with this vintage look columbia jacket as well this was awesome to pick up just the colors on this are just so 90s. Nothing on the back though, but yeah, really nice pickup. How much was this one again? Um, I think the tags, I think there was $4 on that one. Tag's been taken off already. Uh, as you would have seen as well, these Mambo ones here. Uh, I did pick up the three. Those two are just the same ones there, as you would have seen in the video. Uh, this was an awesome one as well. Uh, kind of like that. It does have like the vintage vibes as well here too, um, with the TV and the uh, the trees in the back there. Five dollars each for those ones. Should be able to flip the back ones for um, about 25, 30 bucks. This one might be able to get a little bit more, just because it's a nicer look. And I finish off the clothes. Just a David Smith men's uh, long sleeve button up shirt there. All right, I did pick up this Xbox One console. Um, I was able to check it there as well. So I was able to test it there, was working, um, and I did actually pick up that one for 20 bucks with the console power cord uh, and a HDMI cord as well. I made it picked up this, uh, she said it's called Tapestry Wool. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but it's a DMC brand. We've actually sold a couple of them before. You can see it right there. My phone's not gonna focus, of course. That DMC brand, we've actually sold a couple of these before um, and they actually go pretty well. So to get a full jar is not too bad. This one here was a funny one. Um, I actually bought myself a big booster box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we've been op opening up, me and Amanda. And so to find something like this was really funny. However, this is a fake one. So it was just for, I had to pick it up anyway, just for a dollar. Uh, got these soccer boots, these Predator Adidas soccer boots. Um, just the five dollars into these ones definitely should get around forty, thirty to forty dollars with those ones. I think um, after if you can post uh, into the games now. Just a Gran Turismo Six on the PS3 and a Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox 360. DVDs, uh, big. This series one to six of Vera. Uh, some pretty good comps on that one. So. Definitely a good DVD season to get. Uh, picked up these rags, DVDs. I did a comp on this and there was a couple sold for 60 bucks. So definitely picked up those ones. And then the Bindi ones here as well. They should go for around 
uh, look, I can put them in at five ninety five. So, uh, look, if I get seven dollars each, I can um, make fifteen bucks on those ones there. Uh, this Men in Black uh, limited edition set, and also this Star Wars trilogy here as well. Three backgammon sets, uh, as you would have seen the comps on those. Always picking up backgammon. Uh, make sure they're complete though. And then to finish off this pretty much like new um, starter starter hat. Nixon, just really good condition. Uh, and then to finish off, did pick up that Batman that you would have seen. 1988. I don't think I've actually picked up anything uh, older than that. So that's really cool to find that. <laughs>